Our final challenge, number seven, says that we need to try altering the code so that 30 diamonds go across two quadrants. So let's come up with a possible solution here. So we will no longer need the repeat until block because we know the exact amount of diamonds that we require. So we can get rid of that repeat until block by clicking it to the left and letting go. And we can change this to 30 so that we can have 30 diamonds plotted, but we also need the diamonds to go across two quadrants. So why don't we start in the bottom left quadrant in quadrant three? In order to do that, we need to change our starting point from zero, zero to two negative values. So let's maybe change that to negative 60, negative 60. Uh, how about we go up by 10 and see if we can fit 30 diamonds starting at negative 60, negative 60. So it looks like we're going to run out of room. So we can, there's a couple different solutions to this problem. We could move it down further. So why don't we move it down to negative 120, negative 120 and see if it fits. I mean, we could do the math and actually think about this a little bit more. So let's see if we can fit 30 diamonds across the two quadrants now. Still a little bit too high. We could shift it lower by decreasing these values further, um, but we can also squish them together a little bit. So why don't we make them five, go up by five and five for each of our coordinates. So let's run that. So now it's going up by five and plotting them. And it does do 30 diamonds across the two coordinates. It's not equal on each side, but we could shift it um, if we prefer to have a little bit of symmetry here across the axes.